Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to animate type, but on a path, guys. So we're going to type out some stuff, and we're going to animate it, and it's going to go along in a cool path. In fact, it's a mask, but let's just get right into this, guys. The first step, if you're following along with me, is you want to create a new composition. The size doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm just going to left-click on New Composition. I've got this cool little background color, 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. Perfect. Now, the next step is I'm going to go ahead and hit the type tool up here at the top. This is the type. So I'm going to be like, uh, this is a circle and it revolves, oops, why can't I type, around and around. It just evolves around, whatever. It doesn't matter what it says. Uh, this is just for demonstration, of course. Now I'm going to just center that out here, so I just went and got the uh, move tool here up at the top left. The selection tool, pardon me, <laughs> that's the proper term. Selection tool, and it's in the middle. Now, with the type selected, please make sure that the type is selected. We are now going to move up to the shape tools. And here's where we start getting into this. We're actually going to create a mask. And in this one, I'm going to use a circle just because it's a little bit easier on the eyes and it shows the effect off a little better, but it doesn't matter what shape you use, if it's a rectangle, circle, star, or if you draw your own crazy shape. Whatever you want to do, go nuts. But let's just use the ellipse tool for this uh, demonstration, and I'm going to draw me a nice little circle like so. Uh, yeah, something like that. What do you think? Yeah, okay, go, let's go with that. Now, you're thinking, huh, that got rid of the type. This doesn't really look all that good. Well, that's okay. we got to just... Uh, couple more steps here. So when you look at the mask here, I'm going to go ahead and just start dropping down some of these little triangles and you're going to see under text, you're going to see path options. I'm going to drop that down. The default, there is no path selected, but when you drop this down now, you'll see that mask one is now an option. The text path is going to now go along the mask or the circle in this instance. And when I do that, presto, it is actually inside the circle. That is the default. Um, if you want to switch that up, I'm just going to make sure. I can't remember which one it is. Reverse path is the one. If I want it to go on the outside of the circle, like that, perfect. Here we go, guys. Now, this is not animated, but we have the path. We have the type going along the path. Now, to animate this, pretty easy to do. Let me introduce you to the margins. First and last margin. I'm just going to scroll this to the right and left just to show you what's going on here. It is rotating to the right, rotating to the left. Now, in this case, let's just say that I want this, just like that, to be at the top. That's the starting point. I am going to keyframe this by clicking on the little stopwatch. And then let's say after, I don't know, after two seconds, we want it to revolve so that the, this has done a full you know, full circle or 360 degrees. So I'm now going to just drag and drag that to the right. And we're going to wait till we're going to push it so that the, this is at the top. It's got a little ways to go. Something like, what do you think? Something like that. All right, good enough. Close enough. I'm going to close this up. I'm also going to switch over to the move tool or the selection tool. And then I'm going to click off of it so you guys can see what's happening. I'm going to rewind the playhead to the front, and as you can already see, we have animation. Here we go. Let's just take a look at this. There we go. That is exactly the effect that we wanted, guys. Also, if you can always, of course, you can put your composition inside of other compositions. So you might want to create, like, you know, circles or whatever, or animated text on wheels and stuff like that. Make that into a composition, then drag and drop that composition to, into your larger comp. Again, guys, this is how you do it. Um, that is animating type on a path. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've got a lot more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. Cheers.